All right, so on today's lesson, we are simply doing the exact same thing we are working on, trying to make uh, equations into scenarios. So I've got about 10 up here. I'm not saying we're gonna go through all 10, but I wanna go through enough so that we feel and understand what we're trying to do. Then we're gonna do a review type quizzes, and then you have a test on Monday. You have a test on Monday, you understand? Test on Monday. The test from before the break. Most of us have done that. Uh, but if you have not done the test from before break, you have until Sunday at midnight before it becomes late. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. The test from last six weeks, and if you're not sure what I'm talking about, talk to me in a minute. I'll be more than happy to show you. But the test from last six weeks, you have until Sunday at midnight to get it turned in, and then it will start deducting points. Understood? All right, cool. All right, so for this first one, it says, which real world situation could not be represented by x plus 12 equals 2x plus 4? x plus 12 equals 2x plus 4. Barry's age increased by 12 years, and it is the same as twice the age decreased by four years. What is Barry's age now? But yeah, I'm gonna give you a different option. I want you to figure out what you think the answer to number one is. I know there's a lot to read, so I think it'd be better if you read them on your screen. But number one, you're gonna read it. Come up with an answer, then we'll talk about it. Number one. I promise we will not just do this for the next 20 minutes. We'll, we'll make it work. The question say? Not. So which one does not make sense? Okay, we need more time. Okay, we're cool. All right, awesome. Uh, what do we think? How many think it's A? How many think it's B? C? D? We all think the incorrect answer is D. If a number is increased by 12, then it will equal 2 times the number increased by 4. Well, that seems like that one works. I did not get Mihal, what would you get? Okay, so again, I want to point this out to you. It says, which real world situation cannot be represented by that? Well, this one says if a number, so any random number x is increased by 12, that's x plus 12, then it will equal two times the number increased by four. So can we agree that D works? Yeah, so D is not the right answer. I think it's a. Let's go back to A. Barry's age increased by 12 years is the same. So Barry's age increased by 12, that works, is the same as his age decreased by four years. What does it mean to decrease something? So why, would, why is this one not work right then? That says adding, right? All right, good. The correct answer for that one should be A. All right, let's jump down to number two. Which situation can be represented? So this one we're looking for, which one is the right answer? Which one is the right answer?
Josh, what do you think? A. What do you think? A. A. Where do you think it's A? Or do you think you got a different answer? What did you get, Mr. Anderson? B. B? Mihal, what did you get? A. A? So I think A and B are definitely the two closest answers. And I want to go through these two. So look, if we go three times the number increased by three, it's the same as five times the difference of a number. So here is the one difference here. The word number decreased by seven and the difference of the number and seven. You said those are the only two differences. Everything else up to that point is the same. A, three times the number increased by three is the same as five times a number decreased by seven. So five times the number decreased by seven. Three times the number increased by three is the same as five times the difference of the number and seven. The difference between B and A is this would be, you would have to have the parentheses, the S minus seven to find the difference and then multiply it by five. So Mr. Anderson, I see 100% where you got that confusion, but it would just have to be right, the parentheses would have to be there, okay? All right, number three, we're gonna do five of these totals. Once we're done five of them, we can move past the ones I think we're good. Here's three. Try out number three for me. This one again is asking for which one does not represent this equation. Which one does not represent this equation? What do you think, Nathan? I think it's J. J? 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 J. Am I got a different answer? Mm -hmm. S, what do you think? G. G? All right, so let's take a look at G. G, G. Five times Joyce's age, so five times her age added to 40 is the same as 20 added to six times her age. I think G is correct. G, like, is a good answer. It works. J, I agree, because it says... Increased by 20, increased by 40, but if it's done the correct way, then these x's would have to be the same multiplier. And since they're not, j doesn't work out. Cool? All right, two more. J is the correct answer. J is the no one that does not work. Oh, yeah. All right, here are our last two. Last two. We're looking for the next two both work. So let's focus on four. We'll answer four. We'll do five. We'll answer five, and then we'll take our quizzes and be good, okay? All right, anybody got an answer for me? What do you think, Samuel? F. F, do we agree? Mm -hmm. I agree, F is perfect. All right, last one. Which situation can be represented by 5x plus 45 equals 10x? Last one, then we're gonna move on to our quizzes.
Zana, you got an answer for me? Not yet? Okay. Ruger, what you got? B. B? Do we agree? Awesome, I agree as well. Okay, let me ask you this. Do you guys feel decent about this concept?